Another way to age the plates is to use a dishwasher. Uh, you're going to be needing a uh, pot and pan cycle. You will set it to dry so it gets good and hot. And uh, you're going to use Cascade dishwashing detergent, trisodium phosphate uh, added to the dispenser cup. Dishwashing detergent used to have trisodium phosphate in it. It was taken out about a year ago. So to really have this work really well, I just add a little of that back in. But what I like to do is create a folded sheet of aluminum foil with the dull side to the inside. Place one sheet in that. And then I make another one of those. Now those are gonna be my two end pieces. Then one of the things I can do is crumple up a piece of foil, lay that on top, place another sheet down, and of course these would have been sanded and cleaned. So this crinkle pattern is going to make uh, distortions on the surface, and it will also cause the heat and whatever happens in that dishwasher to create some real pretty rainbow patterns. All right, now this sandwich, like this, gets placed in your dishwasher in a dish rack with these open ends of that folded sheet standing up so that the water can run down through the sheets as it's washing and drying and doing the magic in the dishwasher. Oh, I love doing it this way, it's really fun. You also get different effects. Uh, the dishwasher method will uh, give you some real golden looks and the rainbow effects that are in these sheets. Now this is a sheet that was sanded with the 40 grit sandpaper and it was uh, put through the dishwasher with a masking over the surface. And this is the back side that was laid down on top of a wrinkled or crinkled tin foil. So I could choose to use either side of this. These are some examples also of the crinkled look that you get on the uh, backs of the metal. This sheet of metal was not abraded or sanded at all. I just simply laid it on the crinkled tin foil and it created those patterns. The back side has other patterns and you probably can see some of the gold and the rainbow that's been affected here. To use this sheet, I might sand off a good portion of this, leaving just a little bit of the um, black color that's on here and have this other part become part of my image. This is another example. So you get really abstract paintings that you then can think about how to select an image that's going to go in with this and integrate with it. Something like this, I might want to lay a uh, masking tape around the edges and then just sand away all of it and only leave the edges around the image. Now after these have been finished in the dishwasher and they come out and this is what they look like. Anywhere the metal touched creates a pattern. And this is the back side. So each side has a different look. Undo another one. Now this is one that had been sanded with the 40 grit sandpaper. And I had used transfer tape, which is a low tack masking. You can get that at any sign shop uh, that you might find in town. This one really got nice and black. And again, you can see the sanding really causes the metal to be able to age and get a much deeper color. Now, what I do is, after this is done, pull the masking off. And then we have a nice oval that can be used as the area for transferring a portrait. These ovals can be cut by hand from a stencil or they can be cut on a laser.
Now, if you would like to even increase the amount of patina on here, you can take them out, unwrap them, maybe rotate them around, wrap them back up, and put them back and run them through the dishwasher for a second cycle. And that, the second cycle is when you get these, a lot of these really, really black areas like this. It's almost like it's been burned. So have fun with your dishwasher. Uh, doesn't matter if you've got dishes with spaghetti on them in there, you can do this at the same time you're doing your dishes.